Hello everyone. Today our lead is of Victorian Adventure and Game Home and Aussie Mystery and The Rainbow Machine and The Little Stone Part 2. Oh, it is so hard. First, The Little Stone. Okay, here we go. How you read part 1? Yes. The Goblin King looked at the children. His sm small eyes glinted and he snapped his wrong thin fingers. How do you want to die? He asked. How do you want to die? She, he asked. We, we want of old age, said Hong. That is right, answer said the Goblin King. So I must let you go. He opened the door of the cage. Lyrian said Chip. But how did you know right answer? I don't know, said Hong. I just did. Let's find the next riddle, said Tai. The Goblin still have the magic key. Said Beef, we must get it back. Give us back our key, said Chip. No, said Goblin, we won't. Give it back, shouted Chip. Make us, called the Goblin. Hong had an idea. He spoke to the Goblin King. We will ask you a riddle, Hong said. You must give back the key if you can't answer it. All right, said the Goblin King. What is the riddle? Hong, Hong watered in the sand. One plus one is six. Make this work by drawing a straight lines, he said. The, the goblins searched the, their heads. At last, they said, we can't do it. Home put a line on the plus. One and one and four. Add up to the six, said, said Hong. Very clever, said Goblin King, and he gave Beat the key. The children went on and last they came to a flat of this desert. There was strange shapes in the sky. Suddenly, the sh shapes fell down and whizzed over the children's head. Ouch! That one hit me, said Tai. The flying shifts were kites. The kites dived at the children. What is answer this? What is the answer to this riddle? Shouted the kite floor. I can be cracked, I can be played, I can be told, I can be made. What what am I? I know this one, said Hong. The answer is joke. The kite floor read to the pets, but next they came to the wide river. We can never cross here. This, said the said chip, is too deep and dangerous. Then they saw an old man on a raft. I will take you across, said, said the old man, but, but first answer this little. I have se seven children. Half of them are boys. How can this be? I know this. I know the answer said home. Huh? All your children are boys. That is right, said old man. I will take you across the river. How do you know the answer to all little? Ty asked home. Huh? 
I don't know, said Hon. The answer just come to me. The children came to dark, gloomy forest. The trees were bent and twisted. What a scary place, said Biff. I can see eyes looking at us. Suddenly, wolf sparrow out of the trees. They had red eyes and long, sharp, white teeth. They're after us, yelled Chief. Run! The children ran fast, but the wolves were fast, faster. Quick, yelled Biff. Climb the tree. The children climbed quickly, but home was a bit slow. A wolf spread, sprang up on him. The wolf snapped and hung. It, it take teeth into a bag and pulled off his bag. Help! yelled Hong. When a strange woman came out of the trees, the wolves ran up to her. The wolf woman told the wolves to sit. She told the children to climb down. The wolf woman picked up Hong's bag, but she gave it to Tai. Answer this leader, she said. It lives half its life. It dies half its life. It, it dances to no music. It drinks with no mouth. mouth. This, this time, Tai knew, knew the answer. That's, that's easy, he said. It's a tree. Good. Said Wolf Woman, the next riddle is a riddle woman no one has ever got it right. The children went on. The thief said, Home has no the answer to all the riddles, but now the last one. Why? I don't know, said Home. It's strange, said Thief. By now, we're a little mountain at the top was a cave. The rust riddle will be up there, said Tai. Come on! They climbed it up to the cave. What a climb, said Chip. I'm tired. Let's have reset, said Tai. The children sat, sat down. Tai took off Hong's back. Suddenly, the ground began to shake. A stone stud rose up out of the earth. The stud opened its head, hand and spoke. Who answered? Who answered this riddle? Will be the riddle marker. He said, "This is riddle," said Stud. If the answer it, I give is yes, but what I mean is no. Then, what is the question? Everyone looked at the Hong. I don't know the answer, said Hong. Neither do I, said Tai. Tai suddenly, we've failed, said Biff. Wait, said she. I have an idea. Where is that stone with chi Chinese wording? He asked. It's in my bag, said Hong. Tai knew wolf woman did and he had Hong back, said Biff. Maybe whoever has the stone can answer riddle, said Chip. Tai took the stone out of the bag. I know the answer to this question, he said. It is, do, do you mind? Tai put the stone in the stud's hand. It is the right answer, said stud. You're the new reader marker. Just then, the magic key began to glow. The adventure was over. So, so we knew the 
answer all alone," said she. "It was on the stone." Well, I didn't want the little marker," said Hong. "Did you?" "No," said Dave. "And I never meant to hear another riddle." Okay, last next book is the Victorian Adventure. The Queen Victoria, the Queen Victoria's from is. Rondon. Okay, here we go. Beef and Chip had been to Rondon with Grand. They had some pictures, which they put to a scrapbook. They wanted to take the book to school. Grand came into Beef's room to look at the children's scrapbook. We had a great time in London," said Beef. "Thank you, Gran." Gran was pleased. Suddenly, the magic gl- glowed. It was time for an adventure. The magic took the children into a, into the little house. But did it take Gran? The magic took them back in the time to a street on a foggy day. A boy was standing under a grass ramp. He looked at the children in surprise. "Excuse me," said said Beef. "Did you do you know where we are? Don't don't you know?" said said the boy. "This is Randon." He took his cap off. It wasn't a boy. It was a god. It looks like. It looks like boy, but girl. Omg! I'm called Vicky," said the girl. "I'm called Vicky after Queen." "What Queen?" asked Beef. "Queen Victoria," said Vicky. "Don't you know anything?" "I'm hungry." "I'm hungry," said Vicky. "Have you got any money?" "No, sorry," said children. Come, come on then," said Vicky. "I know where we can get some. Follow me." They f- followed Vicky down winding, st- winding streets. At last, they came to blacksmith. The blacksmith was working at a horse hoof. A blacksmith is Dejangangi. Was looking a horse hoof. The horse needs a new shoes. Get get any job, Mister? Asked Vicky. I'll vi- I'll give you penny a pump blows. Said Blacksmith. The children pumped and pumped until the fire glowed hot. It was hard work. The children were hot and thirsty. Vicky took the pump, and everyone had a drink. Then Vicky pumped water, and children washed their face. The children were hungry. Vicky took them to the baker shop. She bought the bought some bread with the penny. She she gave some to Beef, Chip, and Keeper. The bread was hot and it smelled good. Next, Vicky took them to a street with a high well. A boy called Jack was waiting there. He looked at Beef, Chip, and Keeper. Who are they? He asked. They are my new friends, she said. They climbed on a wall. They had. To help keep her up, they could see a big house. It's Buck- Buckingham Pl- Place," said B. "We saw it w- when we went to run the West Grand." Suddenly, a light flashed at a window. I- it flashed on and off. 
It was flashing at Jack and Vicky. Jack had a lamp. He shone it back. Good, he said. Come on, follow me. The children jumped off, off the well and ran to the place. Keep down, called Jack, and run fast. Someone opened a window and they all ran towards it. There were three children inside. They were the grandchildren of Queen Victoria. They're staying with the Queen, but it isn't much fun of them, said Vicky. We come, come to play with them every night. The Queen's grandchildren looked at Beef, Chip and Keeper. And Chip and Keeper, they are my new friends," said Vicky. "They've come to play tonight. Great! Now we can have some real fun," said one of the grandchildren. The children played together. First, they played hide and seek. Then they played tag. After that, they played hopscotch. Beef and Chip taught them how to play basketball. This is good game," said said one of the grandchildren. "How did you learn to play it? We saw in the television," said Chip. "Oh, what?" Asked, asked Jack, Jack. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind," said Chip. It's fun playing in a place," said Keeper. "But will see Queen Victoria? I hope not," said Vicky. "Vicky, we shouldn't be here. If the grown-ups find out, there will be trouble." At the moment, a grown-up came in and saw them. "Oh no!" said everyone. "Trouble!" The the grounds of were very cross. They they were cross with our children. I told there was a trouble," said Vicky. The royal grandchildren were sent sent to bed. A policeman came to take the honours away. This is a serious matter," said the policeman. You are not. You are not. Allowed to play with the queen's grand grandchildren. Come along with me. The children were taken to pol police station. They were locked up. You can't go home until we find your mothers and fathers," said policeman. Oh no. Said Beef. Well, we have be here be forever. I don't like this adventure," said Keeper. "It isn't much fun." He wanted a magic key to glow, but it wouldn't. The next day, an important man came to see the children. The king has sent for you," he said. "Come with me." The policeman led them out. Important man took the the bunkham place. Do you think we are going to have to have have this cupped off?" said Keeper. Grand was having tea with Queen Victoria. Grand said Chip. What are you doing in on our adventure? I'm having an adventure of my own," said Grand. Queen Victoria looked at our children and smiled. Your grandmother has told me that that are that you're good children," she said. "You can play with my grandchildren and stay to tea." The children played in the throne 
drawing room. They had a snack race. Come on, Beef called Grant. Come on, Vicky called the Queen. This is fun, everyone said. You can have more race, said the Queen. And and then it will be time for tea. I hope you like socks and homemade strawberry jam. Then magic key began to glow. It was time for the adventure to end. Goodbye, said Keeper. Thank you for having us. It was Plotters, said Queen Victoria. Do, do again. Okay. Okay, next book is A Sea Mystery. Okay, here we go. It's the last day of the holiday, said Part. I I've seen something I want to buy before we we go home. Keeper look Keeper took beef and chip to old sh shop. Inside it looked dark and dusty. In the window was a model of a fishing boat. I want to buy that boat, said Keeper. The shop was full of things for boat. An old man sat in the corner. Excuse me, said excuse me, said Chip. We like to buy the model boat. How much is it? It's not for sale, said the old man. That boat is model of my great grandfather Fritz fishing boat. It was made after we, he was lost at sea. What happened to him? asked the No one no said the old man. One day he, he wanted to see in his boat and he never come back. The, the old man began to cut. How how go away? Now go away. I want shut the shop. Keeper was upset. He wasn't a very nice man. He said, Never mind, Keeper, said Mom. I will buy you an ice lolly to cheer up. The children sat on the sea while eating. While eating their loaves. Suddenly they heard a cold. He was old man. He was holding a little model long boat. What do you want? asked Beef Mabel slowly. I can sorry I I was lewd, said the said the old man. I bought present he gave Keeper to read a boat. If from model you liked, he said. The children boat was made of wood. It, it looked very real. It, it even had a little pair of oars. Oh, thank you, said Keeper. He looked up, but the old man had gone. It's time time go home. I I'm afraid," said. "That did you see the old man went?" asked Chip. "What old man?" asked Beef. "Asked that when they got home, the children went to Beef's room. They wanted to play with Mother Boat." "Oh," said Chip. "Said Chip, I've broken off a hour." Just then, the key began to glow. The children landed in water. The magic has take, taken them out to sea. Where, where are we? Yelled Beef. I'm scared, Keeper said. Keeper, I'm not a very good swimmer. Suddenly, the oars splashed in, into the sea nest. Then, hold on, hour, hold on, the hour. Said Beef, it will keep us afloat. The children 
held to or they floated a long time. They're nothing but sea, said Beef. I don't like this adventure, said Chip. He began to get foggy, but then they saw a strange shape without fog. It was getting bigger and bigger. Now I'm scared, said Beef. A sailing, sailing came off the fog. A different, different, toward the children. Over here, shouted, Kip, shouted Chip. Help! Yelled Keeper. I can't see any anyone. Said said Beef. As the boat boat got near, Chip saw a rope. Hanging in into the water, tie the rope to the oar. Then we can climb on board," said Chip. They climbed along the boat. Pew," said Keeper. "That was scary. Let's find crew," said Dick. They can't tell us where we are. They looked around on deck. Dicked their walnuts and breakfast of fish. There was an open hatch reading down its boat. Maybe they are down below," said Chip. The children went down large cabin. It was by ramps where there was a big t- table. In the middle of the cabin, cabin the Table was set of the dinner. In the corner, a big pot of the saw was bubbling away on stove. On the table were there were five mugs of of hot tea. This is strange," said Beef. "There's a nobody on board." There was. There has to be," said Chip. "Why would food be not? And who lit the lamp?" asked Keeper. Suddenly, there was round crash, round crash above them. The boat shook. Shook. The children ran on 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 deck. The fog and fog had gone. It was windy. The crash must have been to sail," said Beef. "He was. It has caught the wind. The boats turned around," said said Chip. The boats started to move quickly. "You, it, or try to steer it," said Beef. "Good," said Chip. "Or tie down the." Sail keeper, keeper, go to front and look out, look out! Shouted keeper. Rocks, hold on! Shouted Beef. She turned and well, well hard. Chip fell over, but but the boat missed the rock. They was close! Yelled yard keeper. The boat sailed. The sail sailed on. Suddenly, the keeper saw a little rock boat. In it were two men and a boy. They were waving. "Help us!" they shouted. "We can't row. We only got an oar." Chip pulled up an oar. He threw into a into the man. They c- catched the oar. Then the man rowed the boat and climbed off. Oh. Who are you? asked Beef. I'm Captain Torbat. Tur- this is Flu- Fluder, and the boy is called Sher- Sherms. Said the captain. This is our boat, the Brinsley. What happened to you? asked the keeper. We we are about to eat," said Floated. Sherm was 
pulling last was when we stuck a rock and fall in. <laughs> we got a boat to help him, said Captain, but we only had one hour. We couldn't row back. Where where did, did you find find you? our our R? asked Sharon. It's mystery. It's mystery, said the captain. We must or always keep the hour in the rowing boat. Chip thought about the model. It is a mystery, he said. Suddenly the magic key began to glow. The magic took them back to Biff's room. Oh no, said Keeper. We left the hour. They, they looked. They looked at the model boat. It had both its hours. It's mystery, said Chip. Okay, next book is the Rainbow Machine. Okay, here we go. It was raining, but the sun was shining at same same time. The children looked up and saw a rainbow across the sky. I wonder. Oh, oh, everyone. 저, 저 일단은 캐릭터 성우는 여기까지 하고 제 목소리로 이렇게 해도 너무 힘들고 배고파서. I wonder the where rainbow begins, asked Beef, and where it ends in a place for a oh, they are was a lolly. It was a very big lolly because on the back was a very big machine. The machine made rainbow and was called, called the rainbow machine. There, there are seven colors in the rainbow. It took seven people to look after the rainbow machine. They cleaned it and polished it. It and they made sure it worked. And what was worked properly? When the oh, the rainbow, everyone started to look at the children. Ran to their moms and dad, were that and said, "What a beautiful rainbow! Sometimes the rainbow the bright, but sometimes well." It was quite pale. Often, children ran to towards it. They wanted to find the end of it and play in the colors, but of course, they never clawed. One of the rainbow makes was a young man called Fred. Fred, he was new and he... He was, he was new and he was learning to be a rainbow mark maker. One day, the other rainbow makers said, Look after the rolly, Fred. We won't be wrong. The rolly was double yellow, right? Fred saw Tuffy burden. Oh no, said Fred. I must move. The rainbow machine, so client driver kept the drove away. Fit drove the rolling along the road. This is fun, he said, but I'd better not be too wrong. He wanted to turn the rolling round, so he drove into a field. Oh no, they, the rolly stuck in the mud. The wheels that so, uh, so from the roll round and rolly snagged deeper and deeper. Now what shall I do? Thought Fred suddenly where was stored in field. Beef and Chip came down with Wilf Nadine and Anina. Beef had had the magic key. A new adventure had begun. The children saw what a lolly was stuck in the 
filled the days of Fred. Can you help me? called Fred. You push the rolly. The children pushed, but it was no good. The rolly was too big, and it was far too heavy. Slowly, it began to rain, even though the sun was shining. On the rolly, the began to burst and flash. Oh no, said Fred, our, our rainbow is needed. This is the rainbow machine. It makes the rainbows. You must all help me. The children helped F Fred to pull the cover of the rainbow machine. Ha wow, said Beef. Is that... Is that where... <coughs> Rainbow come from? Yes, said Fred, but I don't know how to, how to work the computer yet. Nadine was good with computers. He looked at the rainbow keyboard. He didn't really know what to do, but he didn't like to fall Fred. Don't worry, I can work it. He said, right, said Fred, one, two, three. The, the machine of a rainbow. Hooray! It's work, said, said Phil. The rainbow was too bright to see it properly. So Fred gave everyone some dark glasses. The children looked at the rainbow they had made. It, it didn't look Quite right, Fred called to Daddy. Are you sure you can use the computer? The rainbow didn't look right. First, it went straight up, then it wasn't straight or wrong, and the river straight down. Oh dear, gasped Anina. It got straight to its side. Everyone stopped it to look at the rainbow children look look to the mom and that's what a funny rainbow they said it gets straight side we've never seen the wreck that before the rainbow makers were having a cup of tea they looked on of the window everyone was trying in at the sky. Oh no, said Rainbow Maker. What has Fred done? Said they ran out into the road, but the Rainbow Machine had gone. Oh no, said said the Rainbow Makers. Where has Fred gone? In the sky, a broken rainbow. What a funny rainbow, said everyone. Said the Rainbow changed again. This is time he was twisted the very right. I like that one, said a little boy. It looks wonderful. We must find the rainbow machine, called the rainbow makers. They looked up the up at the sky. The rainbow had changed again. Oh no, said of, of them. I don't want the rook. Back the rainbow machine, some something had gone work. Nadine had been the cravel. The rainbow was reeking, and all the red was running out. The sky turning red. Oh no! Said Nadine. I can't stop the red. Turns the rainbow machine off. Fred, Fred, Fred turned pale. I can't turn it off, he said. The rainbow, the rainbow makers found the rolly. They were cross with Fred. It was thick days of sky blue again, they said. The rainbow machine has to waste the sky. We, we've never had to do this before said one of the rainbow maker i hope it works
The sky turned to white. The sun wasn't yellow anymore. It let better the red sky set of right bull makers. A red sky make everyone bad can bark. We we are very sorry, said Nadim. It, it was all my fault. Please don't blame Fred. It's all right, said the rainbow makers. The sky will soon turn blue again. Suddenly, the magic began to glow. The sky was blue and the sun was shining. The rainbow isn't really made like that, is it? Asked the keeper. You had better to go to the end of of one and find out, said Adina. Okay, last book is The Wicking Rarf. Okay, here we go. Oh, what the wrong something like? Oh, oh no, no. The Uh, oh, everyone is time for. Uh, uh, how go? Uh, okay, everyone. Subscribe button and like button, please. Everyone say goodbye.